Everyone and their mother loved the first video that I did on Project Zomboid mods that are absolute must-haves. So with that said, here is part two of Project Zomboid mods that you just can't live without. The first mod in this list is the Ring Clothing mod. It adds the ability to reduce the wetness of your clothes by wringing them out and the effectiveness is based on your current strength level. At level 0, you'll get a 15% reduction in the wetness, and at level 10, which is the max strength level, you'll have a 65% reduction. Obviously, this mod is realistic, but yet it doesn't take away the need for a dryer when you're playing the game. But if the power is out and you don't have a generator or a dryer even set up, it gives you another option. Now, Rainwash is a mod that covers the other side of the spectrum where you need to clean your clothes, but you don't have a working washer. This mod allows the rain to clean clothing, bags, weapons, vehicles, and the player's body with the rate of washing increasing as the rain intensity increases. While washing, any blood will turn into dirt and then it is washed away, but not all dirt will be washed off of these things, and that's actually realistic. You're not going to be able to get all of your clothes and bags and stuff washed off by just rain. You're going to need to do some scrubbing. You may need a washer, but again, it's a great mod to have that is not only realistic, but gives you another option in order to wash your clothes. Mods 3 and 4 do kind of go together, and they are the Backpack Borders and Reorder Containers mod. Backpack Borders adds a border in the UI to help you see dark colored bags equipped in the character's inventory better than in the vanilla game. Reorder Containers allows the equipped item containers to be sorted to the player's liking by moving them around in the player's inventory and you are able to set the priority in the mod settings if you have a specific way that you like your inventory to look. Better Hand Wash is our next mod that scales the amount of water you need to wash items to be more realistic. For example, washing slightly dirty socks should require less water than a bloody jacket, but in the vanilla game it requires the same amount of water and time to wash both of these. So therefore, this mod is not only a great time saver, but also a great resource saver when it comes to the point in your playthrough when the water is shut off and you haven't set up your rain barrels yet. In sticking with the cleaning theme in the first part of this video, we have Clean Dirt. This mod allows you to clean the walls and floors with bleach and a mop or a towel. This way, you can keep your base looking pristine even in the late stages of the apocalypse. Now moving on to a combat mod, we have Combat Text by Resistor. This mod adds a health bar above the zombies and shows the damage they take when hit. This is really nice for new players to help them understand the effect that negative moodles have on your character's damage. And from what I've heard, there's a lot of people that just like playing with the health bars of the zombies visible to give the game more of an arcadey feel. Generator Time Remaining is our next mod, and it shows the in-game days and hours remaining before the generator runs out of fuel. There are settings to change the time remaining to real world time as well, and the electrical level needed for the remaining time to show. While not game altering, it'll help you prevent your generator from running out of fuel when you are out on a looting run. Picture this. You hit a stroke of bad luck and your base is overrun with zombies, but you are able to kill all of them. Now you need to clean out your base before the sickness starts to take over. How do you get rid of all these zombies in a quick and efficient manner? You just throw them out the window. The out the window mod allows you to throw zombie corpses out of windows and over fences. This mod will be a great one to add to your mod list, especially after the devs increase the playable height in the next build. That way, cleaning your base will be a breeze whether you're on the first floor or the top floor. I Don't Need a Lighter is a mod that all of you smoker trait enjoyers will love. 
This mod allows you to light a cigarette with a car lighter, stove, barbecue, or by using another player's already lit cigarette. Like I said, this is great if you play with the smoker trait to give you more options to light your cigarettes other than lighters and matches and help the lung cancer get you first before the zombie horde does. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't yet, check out the very first mod video where I have an additional 12 mods that you absolutely need to have if you're playing Project Zomboid. And now our next mod, or rather a collection of mods, are for all of you players out there that want to add new vehicles and motorcycles to your Project Zomboid playthrough. And these vehicles and bikes are supplied by KI5. You can go check on his Steam Workshop page and he has two collections, one for his bikes and the other for all of his vehicles. And the best thing is these are all lore friendly. There are 33 at the time of this video and I believe he is still adding more as the days go on. These vehicles are animated which technically makes them better than the vanilla vehicles currently in the game but they don't fully replace the vanilla vehicles, so you'll still have some of those non-animated versions floating around through Knox County. Now, this next mod may seem kind of irrelevant, but the four-color Bic Pen mod adds a single item for a black, red, blue, and green pen. It also adds a pencil that doubles as an eraser like the in-game picture shows. Like I said before, it may not seem like that big of a deal, but it's a lot easier to carry a single pen than an entire bundle of them in your fanny pack. Better Batteries is a mod that tweaks the way batteries work in the game. You can reduce the need for absolutely massive battery stockpiles by increasing the battery charge length. And there is also a hand crank that's put in the game to charge batteries back up. And of course, to balance this out, there are many tweakable mod settings that you can change to your liking. The Boredom Tweaks mod improves the Boredom Moodle management to be more realistic. Normally indoors, you will always gain boredom even if you are moving things in your base or looting. This mod makes it so that all timed actions will have you lose boredom, and those actions are the ones where a progress bar appears above the player. Reading books only slows down the gain of boredom, still like in vanilla, but you can also gain happiness if your boredom is very low, which is a nice additional piece that makes sense in terms of realism. Improved build menu is pretty straightforward. It reorganizes the build menu to be more user-friendly, and some new buildables are actually added, including a wood gate, wood pillars, metal doors and floors, and even concrete floors. Kill count tracks and shows the number of car, explosion, and weapon category kills. This doesn't drastically change the game, but it's still a great one to have nonetheless. Mini health panel by Speedy Von Gofast adds a movable character model that shows all current injuries and a right click will bring up treatment options for the part of the body, like in the vanilla health menu. This mod is especially useful for when bandages get dirty, the color of the UI will change to an orange color, so you don't need to have your health menu consistently up or keep toggling it on and off to be updated on your current injury status. Reload All Magazines adds a menu selection to load or unload all of the magazines of a certain type in the player's inventory and bags with a single click. This saves so many clicks because before in the vanilla game, you had to go through the same menu for each magazine that you were looking to load or unload. Replace Bandage is another health related mod that allows you to replace a bandage with a single action instead of the default two actions in the vanilla game where you'd have to take off a bandage and put on a bandage in two separate actions. This is obviously a nice quality of life improvement as misclicking on one of these can lead to extra unnecessary blood loss, especially on a very severe wound. Tidy Up Meister is a mod that I have a love-hate relationship with 
as it automatically returns your equipment and tools to the place where they were when an operation is completed that equips them automatically. I mainly use this for cooking and dismantling a single item, and this can be toggled off for different types of actions, build actions, firearm actions, etc. If you don't always want it active, more builds is the final one on this list, which is made by Project Sky, and of course, like the name implies, it adds more buildables like walls, furniture, decorations, and containers, and this one is an absolute must-have for the true Project Zomboid base builders out there. And now that's it for this video. If there are mods that I missed that you think should be spotlighted, be sure to put them down in the comments below. An absolute great job by you all in the last video. A lot of the mods in this video were in the comment section of that video. And another reminder to go check out that first video if you didn't end up seeing it because there are, I believe, 12 mods in that video that will definitely change your Project Zomboid experience. That's it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you alive and well in Knox County.